You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got a Young and the Restless topic to discuss with you. You remember Victor Newman made Sally Spectra an offer to come work at Newman Enterprises to head up the new design division. But the problem is the CEO at Newman is Victoria Newman, who is not very nice to Sally. So I'm wondering if Victoria is going to make it her goal to torment Sally into leaving on the job. So, you know, Victor sprang this offer on Sally in front of Nick, and it was when Victoria was out of town with Nikki Newman. So I have to wonder, did Victoria even know that Victor was planning to add a design division, that he was planning to offer this job to Sally? I personally doubt it, and I don't think Victoria is going to handle it very well. All right, we're going to dig deeper into this, but if you haven't already, please click subscribe so you don't miss any of our YNR updates. If you click the bell, you'll get a notification when there's a new video for you to see. So the first thing to consider is, did Victor forget that Victoria ran Adam out of Newman Media, and then she ran Sally out of Newman Media, and she handed that division to Nate Hastings. And Nate even told Victoria after he took over that Sally had been doing really good things, that it made him very easy to step into the company because of all the good work she was doing. And of course, the good work she was doing sprang off of the good work that Adam was doing, but Victoria will never acknowledge any of that. She takes credit for everything that other people do because her behavior is really despicable right now. She's already crowing about booting Nick out of Newman Media and installing, I mean, Newman Enterprises and installing Nate in his place. And I just don't think there's, there's any way that she's going to play nice while her daddy sets up a new division for Sally. I have little doubt that Victoria is going to try and ruin it and try and run Sally off. And for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me, one of the most galling scenes recently was when Victoria was out at the ranch and she was blabbing to Victor about how she learned everything from her daddy. You know, she's a daddy's girl and that's why she's ruthless. Then he hugs her and tells her how proud he is of her. I mean, maybe he is because she's basically Victor Jr. in a dress with messy hair and lipstick. I mean, ah, she is like the mustache who's just a chick getting her mustache waxed. I don't even know. Victoria is really painful for me to watch right now. Amelia Heinley is doing a great job playing it because a lot of people really despise her right now. So Sally Spectra says yes to Victor's offer over Adam and Nick's protest. Both of the guys think their dad is up to something. And Victor even told Jill when he told her about this division. And she's like, what? I thought you thought she was a carny grifter. And he's like, well, I want to keep her close to the family. I don't think that's because he's embracing her as part of the family or accepting her, but it's to try and control her. And I think if he can control Sally, then to some extent, he can control both Nick and Adam because they're both in love with her. I mean, Adam's in love with her. Nick thinks he's in love with her. I think he's in love with sleeping with her personally. But if he has control over Sally, then he has control over his sons. And what's kind of incredible to me is that Nick and Adam are so worried about Victor's agenda in all this, but they're not even considering what Victoria might do to this woman that they both say they care about. I mean, Victoria's going to freak out. She's going to freak out because first, Victor has just up and started a new division, I believe, without consulting her. Two, he's letting a woman that Victoria hates and who she chased out of the company run it. Third is this means more of Nick and Adam around at the office. Victoria doesn't want to see her brothers. She has crapped on them both. She doesn't want them around. And the fourth thing is that Nikki Newman may flip out about this too. So it'll be interesting to see if she sides with Victor or if she sides with Victoria because Nikki is not exactly a fan of Sally Spectra's either. So we have got five kind of predictions, quick predictions we're going to run through about how we think this is going to go with Sally coming to Newman Enterprises. Because remember, Victor said she had to be exclusive to Newman and she has to work in Newman Tower. That's going to put her right under Victoria's nose where Victoria can torment her all she wants. So 
The first thing I think prediction wise is that Victoria is going to go whining to her daddy and ask him to backtrack on this offer to Sally. Victor's not going to do that. And if Victoria comes whining to him, he's just going to say, look, it's done. Deal with it. She's not going to deal with it. Our second prediction is that Victoria is going to start scheming along with Nate to sideline the division or fire Sally and put one of her minions in her place, maybe put it under either Nate or Audra. Victoria is definitely not going to take this lying down. Our third prediction is that if Victor insists and tells her just to leave it or else she's going to pay for interfering with his plans, Victoria won't care. She's going to do it anyway because she always thinks she can pull out the daddy card. Daddy, I learned to be this awful because I watched you when I was growing up. And Victor says, yes, you did. And then he praises her again. Victoria has zero fear of her father because she has been a long time since she has ever paid the piper way back in the day like when he had her arrested on her wedding day because he didn't want her to marry I think Billy that time yes then Victoria might have been a little more scared of her dad but in recent years he has never ever slapped her down in the way that she needs to be slapped down at work obviously not a physical slap but a slap because she's out of control and making horrible decisions and being crappy to other Newmans so Our fourth prediction is that Victoria might cause Sally some mental health issues. Bear in mind, Sally is still grieving. She's still grieving the loss of little baby Ava, and she is emotionally fragile. And right now, Victoria is basically a heartless steamroller in high heels. And I don't think she's going to give two craps about anything Sally is going through or that she shouldn't just come in like a wrecking ball. Victoria is going to do what Victoria wants to do. And what she wants to do is run Sally out on a rail. She's not going to put up with that. All right. We have one last final prediction and it is a juicy, steamy one. But first, if you haven't, we'd love it if you'd click subscribe so you don't miss any of our YNR videos. If you're enjoying this, we'd love it if you click a like and definitely drop your comments. We read them all. We appreciate you commenting, listening, all of it. All right. So our fifth and final prediction is kind of a throwback. It's a throwback, but it's been on my mind ever since the paternity test. I am still wondering if we're going to find out at some point that Victoria rigged that paternity test to make sure it would come out as Adam's child and not Nick's. And that's because she might enjoy sidelining Nick and messing with him, but she despises Adam. She knows that Victor doesn't like Sally, so attaching Sally to Adam with that baby would leave Nick in the clear and make Adam look worse. Would Victoria rig a paternity test? Heck yes, she would. Think about all the crap she's been doing lately. There is not a line she won't cross, dance a jig over it, step back, cross it again. She will do absolutely anything. So I feel like this paternity test thing is on the back burner. Maybe they'll never bring it up again, but there were only three people that knew about that paternity test being run. That was Sally, and that was Nick, and that was Victoria. Adam didn't know until after the fact. So that could be Nick's child that he lost, and he doesn't even know it. As part of this storyline, will that come out eventually? Because it seems like the kind of thing that Victoria might brag to Nate about doing. We will have to see. What do you guys think? Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.